This is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Miss Bee bracelet. Now, this is using the two hole honeycomb beads, and I just made this nice little two needle method woven bracelet. And I just kind of brought out all the colors here to show you uh, that you can just pick your favorite color combination and pick your favorite Toho 110 seed beads to complement your colors. So today I chose a metallic and I'm going to be using the blue and the silver. And to make this bracelet, you're going to need two strands of each color. I also have a tube clasp here with two rings. I'm gonna be using the crystal with the fire line, the size B. I have a thread zap, and then I also just have a pair of flush cutters. So go ahead, and I have my size 12 beading needles. And like I said, this is a two needle method and I have them strung and I have about six feet of my crystal fire line ready to go here. So as soon as you have that ready, go ahead and get out your 11-0 Toho seed beads. That should be enough. And I'm going to go ahead and snip off from the strand my honeycomb beads. Now, as you can see in my bracelet here, there are two colors, so you can decide which one you want more of and which one you want sort of less of. As seen here, you'll have three rows of gold and three rows of the blue. get my table ready here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to set my clasp aside. So I'm going to take my two needles here and I'm going to start by using one silver honeycomb bead. Now these are two hold. So I'm just going to show you how the holes run. They run up and down just like so. You can see that there's a little notch there and a little notch there. So go ahead and just put on one uh, silver bead and slide it all the way down until it is in the middle uh, thread, just like so. Now you'll wanna keep your needles on the correct side so that they don't crisscross over. So now I'm gonna take the right needle and pick up one blue honeycomb and slide it onto the one side and I'm just gonna slide that all the way down and you'll see how it'll fit right on top there. I'm gonna take my other needle and slide on one honeycomb bead. Slide that all the way down. So you can see how they're going to sort of fit together. And now again, take one needle through this side of the silver bead Take your other needle through the other side of the silver bead and go ahead and slide that down. Okay, so you're just going to keep going. You're going to add two blue, two silver, and what you're doing with this first strand is you're creating that center row. So this is going to be the full length of the bracelet. So continue your weaving until you let, add your last silver bead till you get to the end. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be right back to show you the next step. All right, so I finished my first row and my first pass with the needles and I have 18 of my silver beads in the row here. And this will give you, uh, with this design, this will give you a six and a half inch bracelet. If you do want a longer bracelet, this is where you're going to want to add more beads, but you'll have enough in both strands that you can be comfortable adding any length that you need to. So now that I've come to this point, I'm going to, I'm going to be adding the clasp. So go ahead and take your tube clasp and just separate it. And now with one of my needles, I'm going to pick up three 
Toho seed beads and just slide those all the way down. And again, these are 11, 11 O seed beads. I'm going to take my tube clasp, take my needle, come up through the back loop. And I'm going to pick up three more seed beads. Slide those down. And now I'm going to pick up one silver honeycomb. And I'm going to go through this second, or I'm sorry, this first blue bead that I have on that side. So go ahead and pull that all the way down. And that will hold the loop of the clasp on this side. So now I'm just going to repeat on the other side. So again, pick up three Toho seed beads. Slide them down. And again, I'm gonna come up through the back of that first loop there. And don't worry, this will all get sort of tightened up. Pick up an additional three seed beads. Slide those down. Pick up another silver honeycomb. Slide that down. And now I'm going to go through this side through this second hole on that first row of blue honeycomb beads. So now I'm just gonna tighten up my work there so you can see. All right. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to add a row of silver honeycomb beads all the way down equally on each side. And you can work doing one this side and then one that side, or you can just do all one at uh, the same time. So I prefer that method. It's a little bit quicker. And you see how it just tightens up nice, nicely there for you. Pick up a honeycomb bead and go down through. And just to keep my tension even, I'm going to start on the other side so you can see how this develops. And when you're picking up your honeycomb beads, it doesn't matter which hole you go through because they'll flip around for you. All right, so just keep on weaving and I'll meet you down here at the other side. Okay, so now that I have my two needles coming out of my ends here, I do want to make another quick note to you about the sizing of the bracelet because I don't want anybody to be surprised. So again, this is for a six and a half inch bracelet and it's 18 of the silver beads going, um, or 18 of that sort of center row. And what you do have left is you have enough to do two more rows of the silver. So of your main color, if you wanted to make it even longer than that, you will need to purchase an additional length. I just want to make that sort of clear. But you'll also see like how many of the blue beads I do have left over. So if you did want to modify the pattern at all, you can do that as well. So now that I have my two needles coming out here, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the clasp on this end. So I'm going to take my right hand needle and I'm going to pick up three of the Toho seed beads and slide those down. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your clasp is going the right way so that it connects with that other side. So now I'm gonna go on this side, I'm gonna go up and through the top and down. I'm going to pick up three more seed beads and now I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go through that center one right there and down through the blue one that's right next to it. So my needle is coming out of the side just like so. So go ahead and pull that through. 
and I'm actually going to take my needle and go up through that blue one, up through that silver one, so my needle is coming out the top there. Pull through. And now take my needle and go through that silver bead right there. So that is one side, so now I'm ready to complete and go down the other side. But we gotta finish our other end here. So I'm gonna take the left hand needle now, picking up three seed beads. Again, going up through the top and through. Gonna pick up three more seed beads and I'm gonna go down through and all the way through that blue. And just make sure that your clasp is going the right way and your thread doesn't get caught anywhere. Okay, there we go. And I'm taking that needle and going up through that blue, up through that silver, making sure to not get any of the seed beads that are left there. Pull that tight and turn that thread around and go through that next silver seed bead, just like so. Okay, so now this is what we have. And I have both of my threads coming out of these silver seed beads. So now for the final pass, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up three seed beads and go through the next silver bead. And this is where you're really gonna wanna pull tight and tighten up your work. And make sure that it's nice and snug. And you just keep repeating all the way down one side and then all the way down the other side. And again, you can go all the way down and then, you know, or you can kinda go back and forth. And take my left hand needle and show you how it starts to look. Okay, so you see how it's going to develop? So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll be right back to show you how to finish it off. Okay, so now that you've come to the end of your weaving, I have both of my tails coming out of here, and I'm just gonna show you how to sort of finish it off and tie, on, tie in your ends. So go ahead and take your right hand needle, and you're just gonna go back down through that first bead and coming out of that first blue bead. And now just take your needle and go around the back, make sure you're catching that thread bridge and you're gonna pull, take your needle through the loop, and just go ahead and make a nice, neat little knot, and just go through the next two, and just repeat that, coming up through the back, making a little loop, putting your needle through, doing a knot, and then just take your needle and just go through that last silver bead there. And now I'm gonna take my thread zap and I'm just going to zap off that end. So that's one side done. And I'll just show you again real quick on this side. And you just sort of mirror it. So you come in through that first silver bead and down through that blue bead and sorry, I'm right-handed, so I'm just gonna turn it around a little bit. <laughs> Come down through, catch that thread bridge, make a loop, pull through, go down through two more beads, make another loop, and through, pull tight, 
I'm just gonna go down through that silver bead just to hide that little knot there. And again, just take your thread zap and zap off that end. And make sure when you're done with your thread zap that you put your safety back on. So there you go. That is how to make the Miss B bracelet. Again, I just want to reiterate that if you want a longer bracelet, you'll need to buy probably an extra strand of that main colorway that you're going to do. You can find all of these supplies and more videos at bitaholic.com.